me and Abel. Sorry, Mom. Our robot doesn't know her own strength. Come on, Vicky. Let's see if we can fix it. Honey, this huh? is the most incredible day I have ever had. Well, what happened? Well, remember I told you my company was trying to land that big robotics contract with a Middle East country? Oh, and you landed it! Oh. Well, not exactly. Uh, but the ruler of the country, the Sheikh, uh, is coming to personally discuss the contract, and you know what? Oh, and you're gonna handle it. <laughs> well, or not exactly. <laughs> hey, get to the point. I'm wearing out my pucker. The point is, the Sheikh is coming here, to our house. Here? Yeah. He wanted to visit a typical American home, and the company president picked ours. Oh, my gosh. I, I'm going to skip the sofa cleaner and the rug shampoo to... Forget it, honey. He'll be here in an hour. An hour? But, Ted, I... Honey, wanted... thanks for being so understanding. Well, not exactly. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's going on, Jamie? Why are you making hors d'oeuvres? A sheik from the Middle East is coming to visit us. A sheik? Oh, that's Trey Sheik. I hear those camel jockeys are really rich. <laughs> Sheiks give people their weight in diamonds. <laughs> Where'd you hear that, Vicky? Lifestyles of the rich and famous. <laughs> Maybe the sheik will be in the mood to weigh me. Or should I wait? In a few years, I'll have stuff that weighs more. <laughs> You could really do something that'd mean a lot to me. Anything for you, sugar lips. What? <laughs> Don't slam the door on your way out. <laughs> oh, Ted, I am so nervous. I mean, how do you entertain royalty? I, I don't know how to act. I I'd hate to offend the Sheikh in any way. Yeah, me too. If I blow this, I could end up soldering circuit boards in Okinawa. <laughs> Listen, let's just watch him and do what he does, okay? It's a good idea. Okay. And you do the same thing, kid. Sure, Mom. Sure, Mom. I want you to be very polite and attentive. Got it? Polite and attentive. Got it. Okay, that must be him. Let's get ready, everybody. Come on. Here. Here. Okay. Mr. Lawton? Yes. <laughs> I am Mustafa Ahad. Salam Aleikum. Salam Aleikum. Salam Aleikum. Salam Aleikum. Welcome to our humble home, Your Highness. Yes, it is very humble. <laughs> However, I am not His Royal Highness. I am but His trusted advisor. Allow me to introduce his Royal Highness. Falcon of the Five Deserts, Chieftain of the Ten Tribes, Monarch of the Dunes, Sheikh Mohammed al Sakir Ibrahim Ahmed Hakim. <laughs> Most exalted ruler of Tabiri. Uh, uh, welcome to our home, Your Royal Highness. Hey, dudes! <laughs> Is that not the uh, traditional greeting of Americans? I saw it on TV. Oh, uh, no, no, that's just fine, Your Royal Highness. Uh, 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 Falcon of the Five and Ten. <laughs> Falcon of the Five Desert, Chieftain of the Ten Tribes, Monarch of the Dunes, Sheikh Mohammed al Sakir. Ibrahim Ahmed Hakim, <laughs> most exalted ruler of Tiberi. Hey, dude. <laughs> you may address me as Sheikh. I would like now to introduce my wife, Wahad. Your wife? My other wife, Itme. <laughs> And my other, other wife, Boletta. <laughs> and of course, the twins, Araba and Hamse. You, you, you have uh, five wives? He travels light. 
<laughs> Isn't he a little young to be married? But of course, these are merely his wives to be. He is only 13. You see, in our country, he cannot be married until he comes of age. Why, I thought so. <laughs> when he is 40. <laughs> He's already got five wives, and I can't even get a date. Uh, Your Royal Highness, I would like to introduce my family. This is my daughter, Vicky, my son, Jamie, and my only wife, Joan. <laughs> How do you do, Your Highness? I am pleased to meet you, Mrs. Lop. Uh, Vicky, would you get the cold drinks out of the kitchen and Jamie's hors d'oeuvres, please? Sure, Mom. Well, uh, why don't we get comfortable, please? Uh, let's sit down. The son helps with the serving, while the wife does nothing? Americans have strange customs. Mm. True, but we must not offend our hosts. Perhaps if we just observe them, see their customs, and uh, do what they do. Splendid suggestion. Thank you. Glad I thought of it. <laughs> now remember, just do what they do and we'll be okay. <laughs> I should say, uh, Mr. Lawson, that your eyes must always be lower than the shakes when you are sitting. Oh, certainly. You have done me a great honor inviting me into your home, Mr. Lawson. Oh, no, no, no. It's a great honor for us, Jay. <laughs> How long will you be in this country? Until our business is concluded. <laughs> a few days. And to see Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in here? A slumber party? <laughs> Whatever happened to sitting on the furniture? Oh, you prefer to sit on the furniture. Excellent suggestion. Glad I thought of it. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. A cold drink, Your Royal Highness. Thank you. You're welcome. It's my pleasure to serve you. You are a very polite girl, Vicky. I am very polite and attentive. Have an hors d'oeuvre. Meeting. Oh, well, they're little wieners wrapped in a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> now, aren't they great? They're called pigs in a blanket. <laughs> Pigs! 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 <laughs> Mr. Lawson, I should explain that pigs in our country are considered unclean and we are forbidden to eat of them. Oh, 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 I see, I see. I, uh, no, 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 Your Highness. They're, they're, not, no, they're not actually made from pigs. That's just a nickname. Uh, they're, they're all beef. Uh -huh. And kosher. Well. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> I would uh, like to propose a toast Aww. to His Royal Highness. The camel jockey. <laughs> Your Royal Highness, I, I, I don't know what could have gotten into Vicky. I apologize for her remark. And so you should. His Highness is not a camel jockey. No, no of course not. I am the greatest camel jockey. <laughs> In Tabiri, no one races camels faster than His Highness. It is against the law. <laughs> Boy, you talk about your home field advantage. Uh. <laughs> I shall consider your words a gracious compliment, Vicky. Thank you, camel jockey. <laughs> and now, in appreciation for your having His Highness in your humble home, it is our custom to present a gift to the host. Yes. And as a firstborn son, I wish to present it to your firstborn son. Well, that's, that's very nice, but it's just not necessary. Dad, the guy's a shake. He can do what he wants. <laughs> you must accept to refuse would be an insult. So, what's a gift? She is your gift. I accept. <laughs> That's very
very generous of you, but we couldn't possibly accept one of your future wives as, as a gift for Jamie. Dad, I promise I'll never ask you for another thing. Forget it, Jamie. Mr. Lawson, as I have mentioned, to refuse a gift from His Royal Highness would be an unspeakable insult. Well, I understand that, but a wife for my 13-year-old son is just out of the question. But, but they are twins. I have a spit. <laughs> well, thanks, Your Highness, but we wouldn't want to break up a match set. <laughs> In that case, I'm afraid any business dealings with your company are out of the question. Araba, welcome to the family. Dad. Oh, thank you, Dad. I don't care if I ever get a dog. <laughs> well, uh, now that that's settled, I'm sure His Royal Highness would like to see the rest of our home. Yes, I would like that. Well, Jamie, while I'm doing a little business with Mustafa, why don't you and Vicky show the shake around the house? Come, Your Highness, and we'll show you around the house. <laughs> the kitchen. I bet you've never seen what a microwave does to a ping pong ball. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Lawson. <laughs> Mrs. Lawson. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Mustafa, hmm. we certainly don't want to offend his, his Royal Highness, but in our country, a boy Jamie's age simply can't have a wife. Isn't there anything that you can do? Hey, Mrs. Lawson. In our country, we have a saying. Never pitch a tent when the desert wind blows sand across a camel's foot. Well, what does that mean? You got a big problem. Shay, I really want to thank you for my wife. Most of the gifts I get need batteries. I am sure you will find Araba suitable. Your Every wish is her command. For example, say you have a small hunger, you desire a sweet cake. Simply clap your hands and say, sweet cake. Here is your sweet cake, shake. I threw in the milk, shake. Why, thank you, Vicky. Your sister is exceptionally obedient. Obedient? That's her. She'd stand on her head for you. Well, let me show you the rest of the... Look! <laughs> Amazing! Mustafa, there must be some way of solving our problem without jeopardizing any business with my company. But perhaps you could explain it to the Sheik that this is an exceptional case, and, and, and then you could, you could take back his wife and give Jamie some other small token of his affection. Perhaps His Highness could give Jamie an oil well. How does that sound? Very affectionate. <laughs> and the bedrooms and stuff are this way, Sheik. One moment. Musta. Yes. American women are quite different than I have been led to believe. Mm. And now considering taking one for a wife. Splendid, Your Highness. Don't you agree, Mrs. Lawson? Uh, yes, of course. Well, I think it would be excellent for relations between your country and ours. I'm pleased that you feel that way. Because for my wife, I choose Vicky. <laughs> Vicky? <laughs> she is so obedient. Ah, oh, Your Royal Highness, we're very flattered, but, uh, but that's just not possible. Dad, the guy's a shake. He can do what he wants. <laughs> Your Highness, you don't understand. I understand completely. You wish to throw a multi-million dollar contract for your company. You'll be slaughtering circuit boards in Okinawa. <laughs> you would not want to lose that contract, now would you, Mr. Lawson? Uh, no, certainly not. I will expect you tomorrow night at my hotel suite at 7. At that time, I will present my bride-to-be with a ring of engagement. Until tomorrow. But when do I get my wife? When His Highness gets his. Until tomorrow. <laughs> nice going, Ted. You married off both of our kids in one night. Now just relax, Joan. There is a way out of this. Who wants a way out? <laughs> now, the Sheik is impressed with Vicky because she's so obedient, right? Right. So, 
so? So what if she's not so obedient? But what about my wife? Forget it, we'll get you that dog. <laughs> that better be one great dog. <laughs> But where is my bride to be? Well, she's right here, Your Royal Highness. Vicky? Oh. <laughs> How beautiful you look in that costume I sent you. You are more radiant than the sunrise on the Great Nile. Please uh, to be seated. His Highness has an entertainment for you. Delightful, yes. They have trained for this dance since they were mere babies. I can do that. She's not only beautiful and obedient, but talented as well. And now, Vicky, to make our engagement official, I present you with this bauble. <laughs> Look at the size of that sucker! <laughs> That's some bauble. You call this piece of Coke bottle a ring? I've seen better rings around a bathtub. I will excuse your outburst this once, Vicky. You may sit next to me and fluff my pillows. Fluff your own pillows, turkey. <laughs> Young lady, that is no way to speak to his royal highness. Who asked you, camel breath? <laughs> what has happened to her? Vicky, if you are to be my wife, you must do as I say. Fluff my pillows. You clap your hands at me one more time, Buster, and I'll fluff your mouth. <laughs> now me a great. I'm starved. <laughs> this is terrible. I cannot take a wife like this. I would lose the respect of my people and be disgraced. A thousand pardons, O oh great lion of the dunes. <laughs> <laughs> but if you were to break your word by ending the engagement, you would also be discreted. Uh, Mustafa, maybe there's a way out of this predicament. If we could arrange a simple exchange of gifts, then His Royal Highness wouldn't be disgracing. <laughs> like trading Vicky for Jamie's wife, uh, Araba. Can't we make that Vicky for a wife to be named later? <laughs> uh, you would not be insulted by such an arrangement? Well, well, normally, yes, but since it's between such good friends... That is very gracious of you. And in the spirit of friendship, the contract with my country is yours. Well, that's great. Uh, thank you. And now, Miss Vicky, since the engagement is off, perhaps you would like to return the ring to His Highness. Are you crazy? Look at the size of this sucker. 